We need governments in order to create opportunity so that everyone can prosper. People repeat this key justification for government power ad nauseum. We got to create opportunities for kids to learn. We got to create opportunities for adults to work. Government bureaucrats and politicians at all levels of government can blabber on about creating opportunity through bills, reforms, packages, new projects, campaigns, and whatever. But all governments can really do is quash opportunities. Government-created opportunities are fake. Why are they fake? The fact is that whenever you jump on a real opportunity, government is there to take its piece in the form of sales taxes, income taxes, property taxes, capital gains taxes, licenses, fees, limitations, regulations, bureaucratic runaround, paperwork, inflation of the money supply, special breaks for big corporations, and other little tricks. When you want to start a business, government wants you to pay to register it. When you want to invest in assets, government is there to take a cut of any profits. In some jurisdictions, such as Dallas, they even charge a special tax on business assets. When you want to go to college, government subsidies jack up the price and leave you with little option but to saddle yourself with debt for decades. Government proponents think that we need government in order to have opportunity. But who created all of those opportunities for illegal actually undocumented immigrants. Who created the first opportunities before there were governments? How did the United States even get off the ground with no federal government there to create the opportunity to do so? People create opportunities, countless of them, every moment of every day. And most of them actually pass us by. So we don't need the paternalistic goons at government offices worldwide getting in the way of opportunity with this fake talk of creating opportunity. Frankly, government is not even agile enough to create opportunity. It's too slow to do it. Because opportunities happen in real time, fast, and government programs are really slow. Look at the government programs to counteract the 2008 economic crash in the United States. They required many months before they could take effect. And when they finally did come into effect, they did more harm than good. Like those car purchasing bonuses. Anybody remember those? Ask me a question, subscribe, and support the show at morelibertynow.com raw. I'm George Donnelly. Liberty is your birthright. Live it and defend it.